Apple's iPads are good for entertainment, but the Microsoft Surface Pro has actually caught on thanks to its slightly more productivity-oriented features list. So now Microsoft is actually rumored to be working on the third generation of their Surface Pro devices. The current version is the Surface Pro 2, and there's a number of leaks and rumors that are actually coming up about Microsoft's upcoming tablet. So in this video, I'm just going to give you what you can expect from the upcoming device. So first of all, there's actually a pretty high chance for the Intel Core i5 processor in the current Surface Pro 2 to be replaced with an Intel i7 unit. It would probably be of lower frequency, but it would likely have higher numbers of threads and similar power consumption. This is really great news for people who that needed more processing power in such a small package, especially for those that are traveling all the time and actually do their work on Microsoft's tablet devices. Now also, the Surface Pro 3 will feature a 10.6 inch screen that will be as crisp as it can be thanks to the 4K resolution, but do take that gear with a grain of salt because nothing is confirmed at this point. If Microsoft does pack 4K resolution into the upcoming Surface Pro 3, which they've hinted they might do by the way, it would be really great for like gaming and for like high intense graphical things, but it could bring the price up, so don't count on this just yet. Now as far as the specs of this tablet, they'll probably be pretty similar to the Pro 2 with a few key differences. For example, the GPU that's found in the processor will likely be more energy efficient and also a bit more powerful, so the battery life should get a nice bump. Just like in the current Pro 2, the next Surface Pro 3 will have a few customizable parts. You'll get the 4K display if that happens and the Intel i7 CPU no matter what you choose, but you'll also be able to select what amount of RAM you need, so you'll probably be able to choose between 4GB, 8GB, or even 16GB of RAM. That last amount would be a great addition because there are some people who edit their videos on the go, who play really intense games that re require a lot of system memory, and you know, 8GB is insufficient for those sorts of people. Now the storage options on the upcoming Microsoft Surface Pro 3 will probably be pretty similar, so you'll still be able to get 64GB, 128GB, or 256GB of lightning fast storage in SSD form. There's also a possibility of 512GB of storage, plus as much as a terabyte in Microsoft's OneDrive cloud storage system. So is it worth waiting for? Well, the Surface Pro 2 is a great tablet as it is, but the Pro 3 will be, bring a lot of other nice things to the table, especially to the battle with Apple's iPad. You'll be able to do more thanks to the bigger battery and power usage improvements, and the screen will be also be a blast if it really does come in 4K. It will be perfect for reading documents, watching a movie while on a plane, or having a blast with your best friend watching an online show that you like. In conclusion, the Surface Pro 3 will bring a lot of things to the table, things that will likely make a lot of people actually want this tablet. The only downside will be the price that is still way too high, and if you'll go for the top of the range unit with loads of storage, 16GB of RAM, you'll probably pay as much as twice as much as the basic unit. And you know, that could be a lot for a lot of people. But let me know what you want to see in the Surface Pro 3 in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!